Hello, welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and I am going to do some more of the manga readings. Uh, today I am doing Hunter x Hunter chapter 9 till probably 14. Uh, we'll see how I'm feeling after, maybe, maybe go a little more than that, who knows. Um, yeah, the last one seemed to do pretty well. Um, so, you know, Saturday, uh, don't have any anime, you know, reactions to do today. And I have nothing else that needs to be done, so I figure I might as well do some more. Um, it's gonna be the same, same, uh, series as the last week. So, Hunter x Hunter and, uh, Denpa Kyoshi. I might do one more, it's pretty early. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see, I am going to be reading these from the same place as last time, which is Kiss Manga. I will have a link to the chapters in the description down below. That way you can read along with me since I won't be showing any, you know, panels or anything on the screen. Uh, and also, if you can tell that the sound quality is a lot better, that is because we got a new microphone. Um, Bell and I bought the Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, it should have been here a few days ago, but due to some storm going on, they it got delayed. Came in today though, so this is pretty much our first, my first time using it. Um, hopefully, it's not too loud should be perfect for uh, the anime reactions, hopefully. Uh, we'll find out when we do those how well that's going to be, because I don't know how loud that's going to turn out to be when we actually record. Anyway, these are longer readings right now, so again, link will be in the description to follow along with me. But, let me see, I'll give you guys a few seconds to get to the page. Alright. And this one is titled Battle in the Mist. Start of a new new volume. Satotsu. Alright, let's begin. Right now they're showing an aerial view of the uh, field. There are one, two, three, four four guys down. Wait, five. I didn't see this guy over here. Um, I think Lucario has an injured arm. And Hisoka is the one doing the attacking with his cards. So you got Kurapika as well. So I told myself to stay calm during the first round. But this first round is a bit too easy for me. So I decided to give the jury a helping hand. It's my turn to judge you. Everybody looks freaked out. Judge us? You're kidding, right? With this mist, if we lose track of the judge, it's over. And it's impossible to find the leading squad again. Your superior ways won't change a thing. You're eliminated just like us. <laughs> Behave, please. Oh, hit him with a card, right in the head. Do not compare me to the likes of you. Don't forget, once you're in the afterlife, nothing's impossible for a magician. Let's see, oh, what's going on? There's a lot of, oh, everybody's just pulling out their weapons. That's what that is, okay. There's no way a murderer like you can have the title of Hunter. We'll make sure you won't be able to represent yourself. Is that so? This one card will be enough to take on all of you. Oh yeah? And they all start charging and being killed. 
I mean, come on. If he's using cards, you gotta know he's pretty, pretty tough. I see three people. Maybe if you count the three up top, six people. And he's still killing. Lucario and Kuropika are pretty surprised at what's going on. <laughs> oh, these guys are running. And then they get killed. <laughs> You've all failed. Yeah, I'd say so. There are only three of you left. And there's some random dude in the back as well. Comes walking over. Listen, at my signal, we all go in different directions. He's really strong. That's because he apparently doesn't hesitate at all when it comes to killing someone. The distance which separates his battle techniques from ours is, a lar is as large as that between heaven and earth. Even by attacking all at once, it's obvious he'll have the upper hand. We have no chance of winning. You surely also have very good reasons for becoming hunters. It would be stupid to lose now. They're all getting ready. Now! And then they run. <laughs> Oh, I like this. I'll give you a 10 second head start. One, two, nine, ten. Okay, so who's going to be my first playmate? Oh, Lucario just stood behind. No, I can't resist. Resist the urge of beating the crap out of you. That's it. I've lost my temper. And he's charging towards him. I kept calling him Lucario. It's Liario. Liorio. What is Lucario from? I'll think about that later. Liorio. Idiot. Oh. That's a facial expression I like. Oh, it looked like he did something to his hand, his arms, but he, apparently he just dodged. Like, really quickly. I think I hit in the face with, uh... It looks like Gon's... Uh, what would that be? A uh, hook? Gon! <laughs> He's looking at him. Pretty good, kid. With a fishing pole? What a peculiar weapon. Show it to me. Hey, you're fighting against me. Oh, well, not anymore. <laughs> At least he didn't kill him. I mean, he... Jesus. Jacked him up pretty good. Huh? Oh, got him by the throat. Come to help your friend? What a nice boy. Don't worry, I won't kill him. Because your companion qualified. <laughs> He's asleep. <laughs> Knocked out. Hmm. As a matter of fact, you as well. You will become a good hunter. <laughs> Hisoka, hurry back. I don't think it'd be I don't think it will be gone long before they reach the uh, second test center. All right, I'm heading your way. Both our companions are waiting for us. You'll find your way back on your own. Yes. What a good boy. He just drags him off. Gone. And then he falls to his knees. Hisoka the Magician. Never in his life had gone seen such a thing. Never had he suspected the existence of such a facet among the living beings. Or probably just among living beings. <laughs> that was a short chapter. At least it seemed really short. Alright, anyway, chapter 10. A test unaccounted for. And 
everybody looks <sighs> falling into traps it looks like Kuropika and Gon are running through the forest this way you sure? yep Leorio's aftershave is easy to recognize so we can follow them a long distance speak for yourself and as you can see there are many dead animals on this path I guess they tried attacking Hisoka. Hey, Kuropika. Hisoka said Leorio was qualified. Do you know what that means? Don't worry. I won't kill him, because your companion qualified. He said he was playing judge, but he was really testing us. But how does he do it? He just looked at me. Maybe, but you did hit him, didn't you? I did, but Leorio didn't. He even got knocked out. But even so, he said he was qualified. Maybe he sensed you two were connected somehow. Kilua said something like that. He and I are the same. I can feel it. I can't believe Hisoka's a hunter. But you'd have to be blind not to see his immense strength and abilities. His fighting skills alone are superhuman. It's often that people with special abilities recognize those who are their equals. It was probably his experience and intuition that enabled him to sense your potential for being becoming a hunter. <sighs> Itchy nose. Killing them now wouldn't bring me any fame. That's what he must have told himself. Sorry, it's a bit harsh to say that. No, it isn't. I believe I'm beginning to understand the strange sensation I had back there. Dozens of bodies laying there and the one responsible for it walking towards me. I was feeling terrible pressure. I wanted to run away, but I couldn't turn my back to him. Even by defending myself, I knew I couldn't win. I told myself I might die. On the other hand, knowing all this, I was really excited. Strange, huh? Is this the... Yep, it's the next testing ground. Congratulations to those of you who managed to get out of the marshes alive and well. You are now in the Bisca Woods, the place where the second round will take place. Oh, there's Hisoka. On that note, I wish you luck for the next part of your trials. Still 150 of them. I thought there would be two left after the first trial round. This year's group seems rather good. But... With Menshi and Buhara as judges for the second round, they'll probably drop to 50. No, it'll depend on the people, but they could drop below 10. This might be interesting. Why not stay and have a look? Oh, here comes Gon and Kuropika. Great, we made it in time. Hisoka and Leorio. Oh, but there's, Le there's uh, Hisoka. He's like, he's over there. Leorio. Except for your arm, everything seems fine. You mocking me? What about my face? Well... When did you regain consciousness? Well, after getting here, I think. Oh, boy. This still doesn't explain this thing on my face. I must admit, I don't quite remember what happened after we reached the marshes. <laughs> no use telling him. Yep. Why is everyone waiting outside the hangar? We can't get in yet. Killua! Yo! You use some kind of special attack or what? I thought I'd never see you again. Thanks to his aftershave. Yes. You're no ordinary guy. Dog, it must be a dog. Uh, you think so? So why can't we get in? Look, next trial round will start today at noon. All we can hear from, all we can hear are some weird groaning noises. All we can do is wait. It won't be long. Yep. You can sense the te tension building up. Normal, since we don't know what will happen. Let's stay put. It wouldn't be strange if we were suddenly attacked. And the doors are opening. Is that his stomach growling? I think that's his stomach growling. 
So, you hungry? You bet, I'm starving. Therefore, the theme of the second trial will be cooking. The gourmet hunters have an extended knowledge about worldwide cooking. Often they are cooks themselves looking endlessly for new flavors. We are both fine gourmet cooks. Thus, your mission will be to satisfy our appetites by cooking us a meal. Cooking? You'll start by cooking the plates I ask, ask you for. Then, those who qualify will have to satisfy me. You will qualify for the third round if you hear, It's good. The test will be over when you are no longer hungry. He must eat a lot, but she... And everyone won't, won't have a chance to prepare something. They'll be satisfied before. They can't be serious. I've never cooked. I never thought there'd be such an exam. What kind of cooking is he going to ask us for? For me, it will be... Roast pork. That's what I like best. <laughs> I don't care what kind of pork it is, as long as you chase it in Bisco Woods. Okay. Let the second round begin. Phase one of the second round. Buhara's order. Number of participants, 148. Cool. That's really easy to cook. We just have to catch it and roast it. Yes, but we have to hurry. Because of his order, we'll, he'll become satisfied quickly. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't matter what kind of pork. You're not very nice, either. In Bisco Woods, there's only one kind of pork. big pigs. <laughs> Great stump pork is the fiercest type of pork on earth. They have a huge and powerful snout they use to crush their enemies. Those who can't run fast enough get eaten by them. <laughs> it's kind of like... but it's still different. Oh, no, I'm reading that backwards. It's kind of like the fear I sensed back then. But it's still different. Against Hisoka, it was... Pretty sure that doesn't belong there. Oh, here comes a lot of people with the pigs. There you go. Isn't this a bit much? Nice catch. Ooh, this is, re this is a really nice group. Okay, that chapter's over. <laughs> Man, it's only been 18 minutes. Usually by now it's been like a half hour. No, well, I'm not complaining. Number 11. Or chapter 11. An obvious result. Hmm. That's good. That too. Delicious. Succulent. And I think he's eating them all. Man, that was good. I'm full. Dong. <laughs> it's over. He's a monster. He ate 70 pieces of roast pork. Those hunters are incredible people. In a way. Doesn't make me want to be like, like him. This is impossible. He consumed a quantity larger than his own body. It's no use worrying about that. All you ate was good? This way is not a test anymore. So what? We still eliminated a lot of the participants. Anyway, we're not here to judge the taste today. You're too nice. Remember that gourmet hunters must respect the sense of taste. Alright, what's done is done. Roast pork test, 70 qualify for the next round. Oh, I got rid of half of them. A little over half. 70? That's a very good number. Didn't take them long to figure out what that you needed. <laughs> Didn't take them long to figure out that you need to hit the pork on the forehead. In this trial, they had to prove their courage and dexterity. It is now that the real trial begins. She, on the other hand, is not kidding. Minchi, the gourmet hunter, she's part of the gourmets who believe you can express your artistic sense through cooking. She possesses an unstoppable desire to try new things and never forgets the taste of any meal she's eaten. Thanks to her contrib contribution to the culinary art, she was promoted to single hunter at the age of 21. 
Single Hunters, also known as Star Hunters, a title given to those who prove to be skilled beyond recognition. I'm warning you, it won't be easy with me. I'm very cautious when it comes to taste. Second round, phase two. Here's my order. I want sushi. I'd like some sushi too. <laughs> sushi? What's that? What's that? You know? Nope. How do we do it? Nobody knows what it is. How can we cook a dish we've never heard of? You all seem bothered. But even if you've never seen them, you can still make them. It's a small island's traditional meal. Japan. <laughs> I'll give you a hand. Look over here. You'll be cooking here. Everything is all set up. There's also the rice essential in making sushi. One last thing. I'll only accept handmade sushi. Alright, it's up to you now. You can make as many as you'd like, but don't forget that when I'm full, the trial is over. Phase two of the second trial, 70 participants. Handmade sushi? Handmade sushi? Do you think we only use rice? Judging by the cooking ware, I doubt it. Ah, this dude knows what it is. This test is made for me. A test about my home's traditional cooking? I better keep my head I better keep my head, otherwise I'll understand. I'll do a, I'll do as if I know nothing. It's the best way to be the only one qualified. Sushi. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows what it is. He knows. He knows. He knows exactly what to do. <laughs> Good job keeping it a secret. <laughs> Handmade sushi. I can imagine the shape, but I don't see what ingredients we have to use. Never seen them either, but I've read books which spoke about them. But you add white vinegar and dressing to the to the rise, which you mix up with more raw fish. That's the theory. Fish? Where can we find that in the middle of a forest? <laughs> and he threw the the rice thing at him. Won't you speak louder, moron? There must be pools or rivers around here. And there they go. Fish! Damn! They were all spying on us. If he's reached this stage, he's hopeless. Rats! I wasn't the only one to know about sushi. I should have known. <laughs> uh. <sighs> now everybody's fishing. And, oh man, what the heck is that one? Kind of like an eel. There's some weird fish in this world. Oh, ho, you're even more under, underhanded than me. Usually, sushi is made with saltwater fish, right? So they won't be able to make traditional sushi. That's what makes it interesting. It'll be different from the sushi I'm used to eating. With all that's out there, I wonder what they'll come up with. Today, I'm here more as a cook than a jury member. As a cook? That means... What? Oh, never mind. A cook? If her bad habits don't come up, it'll be fine, but... Yes, that's it. Add raw fish to the rice. Handmade, that's it. Alright. It's ready, and I'm the first one to finish it. I call it the Oreos Special. Come on, taste it. <laughs> <laughs> is it edible? What? Are you crazy? Where were you taught to throw away food like that? What? You failed. Hurry back to your mama. Listen, the shape is very important. A shapeless sushi can't be good. Damn, I was sure I did it right. Okay, my turn. <laughs> it's as bad as number 403. Bad? As bad as Leorio? Don't take it too hard, Gon. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> no. What's that? It vaguely resembles it, but no. What's happening? Can't you try harder? I haven't tasted a single one. You want me to starve? And they aren't listening at all. I gave them a lot of hints. This makes me 
mad. This makes me mad. Since I have no idea whatsoever about the shape, all I can do is find a logical solution. We can make as many as we'd like, but the shape is what matters. Handmade. Hearing this, you would imagine something in the shape of a steak or a potato croquet. But if I look at the setup she uses, I deduce that the sushi is put in a little saucer before it is eaten, meaning the size cannot exceed the size of an egg. As for the fish you put on top of it, that's it. <laughs> it did the exact same thing as gone. No better than 403. Hey, oh, is that offending? <laughs> uh, this can't be true. You don't have the smallest sense of culinary art. I believe it's my turn. So, how about this? Oh, looks close enough to what I ordered. Let's see. Nope. Not good. Huh? What? Rolled rice shape to be eaten in one bite with a layer of r r Ready for it? Rayford. <laughs> All of this covered by a fine slice of raw fish meat? It isn't more complicated than that? And you, you're telling me that there are great differences in taste depending on the person who makes it? Oops. Damn. Of course, that's it. You're saying it's more you're saying it isn't more complicated than that? Great difference in taste? Are you kidding? It is said that to be able to make good sushi it takes at least ten years of practice. What? And you bunch of ignorant fools, even if you reproduce the sushi's form, you'll never be able to make good sushi. Then why do you ask us to? Shut up, Baldy, or I'll kill you. Got anything to say? See, I knew it happened. Do not make her lose her temper. She becomes intransigent about taste. <laughs> Cooks who fit into Menchie standards can be counted on the fingers of one hand, and that's an understatement. Impossible. You got it? Huh? That's what you get for making me angry. I'm even hungrier now. Next. Total loser. My turn. No, me next. I see. Because of Baldi, everybody found out how to make sushi. In that case, I can only judge on taste. Let's see. No, too hard. The rice isn't soft enough. Aren't you overdoing it? You shut up. The fish isn't cut the right way. I want pieces with straight angles. The rice isn't the right shape. Make it flat or slightly bulky. Nothing different. It isn't at the right temperature, and it's unpleasant for my palate. Bad. As bad as the other. Sorry, I'm not hungry anymore. It's over. Phase two of the second trial. Menchie's order. Number of qualifying participants? None. Uh, wow. Number 12. The President's Visit. Yeah, these are going by pretty quick. Oh, well, that one took ten minutes. What do you want me to do about it? That's the way it is. Out of the question. What's done is done. I'm not going back on my decision. What do you mean I'm not respecting the rules we established? I thought we agreed, didn't we? If I say it's tasty, it's a qualification. And if I don't, it's a failure. So what? But our role was to make sure they respected the essential points, and... You shut up! <laughs> on top of that, we had a small incident. One of the contestants knew the recipe. And that bald moron was stupid enough to give it away to all the others, even if he didn't mean to. Anyways, I won't go back on my word. Second phase of the second trial round cooking trial. Qualified zero. Seriously? It can't be that the trials end this way. Man, that dude's got a big nose. <laughs> they must be joking. Hello? Hello? Those aren't good manners. M Mr. President. She removed her cell phone's battery. What do we do? Mm. This girl is stubborn. We won't make her change her mind like this. But what she did wasn't agreed on. 
The goal of this test was to make the participants use their observation and concentration abilities. Anyways, talking about it won't change a thing. I'm going out. You're not thinking about going there, are you? But of course I am. It's my responsibility. It's not the first time this has happened, and it won't be the last. There are many stubborn people among the hunters. They're not ordinary people. And it is those same hunters that become jury members afterwards. It already happened that the commission aligned with the jury's decisions, and no candidates were admitted. But this time, it might have gone a bit too far. It's flying over there. And number 255 just broke his table. It won't stop here. If she thinks I'm going to go home saying, yes, of course. I came here not to become a gourmet, but a hunter. A hunter from the black. I may add. Too bad. What? Tell yourself that you weren't lucky to be tested by us. Maybe you'll be luckier next year. What? Are you mocking me? Well, there goes that guy. <laughs> that dude's got big hands. It, all the way out the window. Uh, well, he's not dead. That's for sure. Buhara, I don't recall asking for your help. Maybe. But if I didn't, you'd have killed him, wouldn't you? <sighs> Maybe. Hunter of the Blacklist. You're kidding, right? Anyway, it's not by being beaten. It's not... It's not by being beated by a gourmet hunter that you'll make it beated. It's not by being beaten by a gourmet hunter that you'll make it. The type of hunter you want to be has nothing to do with this. Whatever type of hunter you are, you need to have a perfect knowledge of the art of fighting. In our quest for new food, it isn't rare that we need to get into the nests of violent monsters and other kinds of beasts. And if we come face to face with poachers, we take action and stop them. You'll need to learn how to fight no matter what type of hunter you want to become. What I want to know is if you're able to take on a challenge in the domain you do not know. That's one explanation. But does it justify such severity? But... The sign of the Hunter's Con Confederation. Is it the Examination Committee? It's the President. Dun. <laughs> Who's the old man? He didn't hurt himself after such a jump. The Terosan, president of the committee. The man responsible for the trials. Responsible, yes, but I'm only an executor. And I'm here to solve this kind of problem. Menchi. Yes. Incredible. She's almost standing on guard before him. Well, yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty badass. Concerning their ability to take on a challenge in a, doma in a domain they do not know, do you believe the attitude they had in front of this trial justified such severity? Oh, look at... Ha! <laughs> ha! Uh, no. Many facts troubled me, mainly the lack of respect the participants had for cooking. Add to that the incident which permitted them to know the recipe of the order. It got my blood boiling and I lost my temper. Do you understand why you failed the mission which was ordered to you? Yes. I'm sorry. When it's a question about cooking, I tend to forget my role. I failed as a jury member, didn't I? Hey, what's... Oh, wait. What the heck? Why do they keep throwing in a page that does not... A boiled egg. President, could you give us a ride to this mountain? I see. No problem. Here it is. But what's down there? Don't worry, there's a very deep river. The current is very strong, so you'd better not fall in, unless you want to be washed ashore a dozen miles from here. All right, here I go. Huh? Oh, God, another page? I'm gonna need to find a better place to, to, to read this. You have to grab the line, take one egg, and come back up climbing the rock face. And finally, you have to boil the egg. Easy to say, because she thinks she because she thinks we can just jump into this ravine. Ah, cool. 
Yeah, I was expecting something more like that. That's more like it. It's easier to take action than to do some traditional cooking. Let's go for it. <laughs> and they all jump in. And the others? Call it quits? Quitting also asks for some courage. This test takes place every year anyways. Here's an egg like the ones you can buy. And here's a tarantula eagle's egg. Ugh, that doesn't sound good. See the difference? Tastes great! The flavor deposits itself on the tongue. What an incredible taste! It's got nothing in common with a normal egg. Maybe I made you better... Yeah, maybe I made you better understand the joy of discovering new exquisite food. We, ri we risk our lives for it. I want to taste it too. I'll give you half of mine. So... I failed this year, but I'll come back next year. Phase two of the second trial round. Menchie's order, qualified, 42. All right, so I think I'll do one more. So this up to this 13. I really need, I do need to find a new place to read this, simply because they keep throwing in pages from other chapters. Hanzo. <laughs> Chapter 13. A Game at Midnight. Number 1. It might be time for the 42 remaining contestants to know who I am. Excuse me. My name is Natero, and I'm responsible for the trials and a member of the organization committee. I wasn't supposed to show myself until the final phase of the trials, but I came sooner than expected. Your anxiety is, comprehend is comprehensible, but I believe it's a good thing. So if you'll allow me among, among you for the time being. We should arrive tomorrow around 8 at the next trial ground. We are waiting for them to contact us. You're free to do whatever you want until we arrive. Hey, Gon, how about going to the t on a tour of the vessel? Yeah. They're in good shape, those two. Me, I'm going to take a good long nap. I can't go on. Me too. Today has been rather long. I know how you guys feel sometimes. But something bothers me. Hmm? How many tests are left? Ah, that's true. We, we aren't told anything. It changes from year to year. The committee decides it depending on the con content of the trials. But usually there are five to six tests. So still three or four. So we'd better use this opportunity to rest. I advise you to stay vigilant. Like me, you heard the assistant say, until the next testing grounds, so you can't exclude the possibility of the ship being the next testing ground. We can also suppose something might happen before 8 o'clock tomorrow. Imagine a trial taking place while you're asleep. You won't be allowed to go on to the next round. Even here, you'd better not drop your guard. Alright. The stress won't allow them to rest physically and mentally. By the way, how many will make it this year? You're talking about the qualifications? Yes. I think they're pretty good. It may sound weird coming from me, who disqualified all, them all, but... Yes, but it depends on the content of the next trials. And if they get another one like you, there won't be any left. Of course, but... When we made them take the test, didn't you sense it? Some of them gave off a peculiar aura. And you, Satotsu... What do you think? Me? I believe this year's promotion is pretty good. Isn't it? I noticed number 294. You know, Baldy? He was the only one that knew Sushi. I believe number 99 is far stronger than the others. Oh, the little arrogant one? He's probably of blood type B. No chance of us living under the same roof. That's not the point. <laughs> oh, God. Number 99. Which one is 99? Is that Kilo? And you, Buhara. Me? He's not really the new one, but... Number 44. I believe you sensed it too, Minchi. When number 255 lost her temper, there was extreme tension, but the largest mass of negative energy came from number 44. Oh, Hisoka. 
I knew it, of course. It was so strong that I had trouble controlling myself. But you know, it was like that since the beginning. Since the moment we showed ourselves. Seriously? Yes. I was so nervous because of him. I felt like he was provoking me. I sensed the same thing. We'd better watch out with him. It's hard to admit, but he's at the same level as us. The only difference is that he likes to, to grow in darkness. You can't deny that hunters have something in, that, in them that pushes them to find a worthy adversary. And the best place to find that is the hunter admission exam. Among the participants, it sometimes happens that there is one of those. Those young heretics, waiting for us to slow down, shifting one gear up but without trouble. Yeah, definitely Hisoka. <laughs> uh, great. Looks like a diamond. Killua. Yes. Have you got parents? Huh? Yes, of course. What do they do? Assassins. Both of them? <laughs> you really got me going. That's the first time someone's listened to me seriously and asked me that afterwards. Why? It's true, isn't it? What makes you say that? Nothing, really. You're really strange. You can never tell if you're... You can never tell if you're serious or if you're joking. That's what gives you your charm. Oh? At my place, the main activity is assassination. For everyone. And I'm not telling you how much <coughs> pressure my family puts on me. But I don't like the idea of others deciding what I'll do with my life. When I told them, I'll decide my own future by myself, they all got mad. My mother started crying, telling me I had a gift for this job. It's horrible, parents like that. I can only be considered evil. To make a long story short, I beat up my mom and dad and ran away. <laughs> they probably haven't healed up yet. If they come here, I'll be in a lot of trouble, but... If I become a hunter, the first thing I'll do is arrest all my family. I'm certain to get a good reward. Oh yeah, it is Kilua that was... Yeah. She was talking about. Oh, he recognizes him. What's happening? Well... The tarot son, didn't you have the sensation somebody was closing in from there? No. You're really fast for your age. You think? I was just walking without haste. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you want? Got nothing to do with got nothing to do until the finals? Such coldness. I'm bored, so I was looking for someone to play with. It's your first participation in the trials, right? You like it? Yes, it's fun. It's different than what I expected. There were no written exams, for instance. Me, I'm disappointed. I thought the trials would be harder. Will we finally have fun during the next tests? Well, you'll see. Come, we're losing our time. Wait, don't you want to play with me? If you win, I'll give you the title of Hunter. We've still got time before we reach the next trial ground. If you can take this ball, you win. You're free to attack me any way you'd like. I won't hit back. Yeah, see, this is from number 117. <sighs> At his age, he knows the technique of the rotating bodies. He's a very impressive boy. Deadly technique used in critical situations to create a succession of images on the retina, creating an illusion. High level attack. She's also called technique of the dark step because of the total absence of noise during the movement. There are multiple kilowas. <sighs> nope. Yep, nope, that's not gonna work. Neither's that. <laughs> Damn, he's no ordinary old man. He's super fast. I mean, come on. He's a hunter too. If it's like that, the first thing to do is to stop his movements. Oh, right in Eesh. A rotating tackle. He broke his... Broke his own leg. Well, well. He didn't hold back. His leg is as hard as a rock. A normal person would have, would have his tibia in bits and pieces. Alright. 
my turn. Go! I took a good run-up, but it must have been ten years since somebody's attacked me frontally like that. <sighs> Those young ones. Oh, and he hit his head. Ow, 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 ow! Well, you can jump really high, but try and calculate your hit better next time. Especially since he wasn't focused. <laughs> he looks naive, but he's very thoughtful. I have a feeling that I won't be bored at, lo at long last. They're sleeping. <laughs> yeah, what, do you think you were going to scare them? <laughs> oh, man. All right, so yeah, I'm going to end it there. So that was chapters 9 through 13. Another five chapters. Um, really good chapters this time. They seem to be getting kind of, like, pretty short. What, how many pages was this? I don't know. Maybe 20? Either way, good chapters. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you can get updates on our releases. If these are the only things you watch, we also do anime reactions and reviews. Um, most of you know that already. Uh, and check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for any updates on the channel. Uh, memes, news articles, you know, whatever else we decide to post. So, till next time, bye.